Cynthia Bourgeau here, and I'm here to invite you personally and encourage you to attend the upcoming uh, John Main seminar on uh, new wineskins. And uh, I'm so delighted to have been invited to participate in this meeting, uh, to be one of the presenters and to join with my friends, Andrew Harvey and Lawrence Freeman, to try and bring our collective hearts and spirits uh, together around this topic. Uh, we all come with such different uh, perspectives and energies and with such a, uh, a profound love for the subject and for each other that I think the, uh, I think the sparks will fly. Uh, the topic is the beautiful phrase, new wineskins, which of course comes from uh, the, the gospel metaphor of new wineskins for new wine. And in our own age, I think it's perhaps not understood since so few of us are, are Mediterranean farmers anymore, uh, what this metaphor actually means. Uh, essentially what happens is that when you put new wine into old wineskins, the very strength and power and newness of it, of the, the new brew, uh, essentially rots and destroys the old wineskin so that it splits and breaks open. Uh, the wine falls out on the ground and all is lost. So the trick in this metaphor and the way it works against itself is that you, you got to have new wineskins for new wine or otherwise you've lost the whole thing. So the question that, that, that I will be bringing to this is how do we construct and how do we begin to find new wineskins uh, with sobriety, continuity, and respect for what we've received, what's, what's gone before. Uh, some of the great uh, evolutionists, evolutionary thinkers in the evolution of consciousness have said that, that if you have a feeling that we're at a major inflection point in our culture right now, that's quite true in our world, uh, not only do we have global warming out of control, uh, population masses be us beside the, beyond the tipping point, but we also have the fact that we seem to be coming to the end of a 2,500 year cycle of a way of thinking, a whole structure of consciousness of seeing the world on which Western culture uh, essentially is built. It's a very, very old wineskin. It's a very, very settled and stabled and full and rich. And most of us know nothing else. So it's this structure that's up for grabs. And we know there's something new. The evolutionists of consciousness say uh, it's the new wine is a whole new structure of consciousness, which will contain all that's gone before. And uh, and grow it, grow a new dimension in it so that it holds together rather than fighting against each other. So I'm going to develop that topic as my part of the of the contribution, um, taking you a little bit more deeply into, into Jean Gebser and evolutionary theory that, that supports the idea of how do you avoid just getting drunk on the new wine. Uh, you know, we all get so excited about oh, the new, the birth of the Holy Spirit, the coming thing, that we lose our bearings and we forget how to deal with sobriety, uh, sober intoxication, not getting carried away and not reinventing the wheel. So I'm going to explore this paradox with the help with the help of the tool that we all have in common, uh, first of all, the sobriety of meditation, the beauty that it allows us to detach from our overexcitement, from our overstimulation, and see things already from a, from a periscope, at least, of this wider and more integral perspective. And I'm also going to be looking, particularly with, with Lawrence and, and Andrew at my side, at the continuity of beauty and how what we have experienced in creating in culture in the, the spark of joy that emerges out of really bringing a new form out of an old uh, is itself a great source of a levering and a leveling reverence and tempering. And how we as meditators bring that dimension to a world which is sort of swinging in a schizophrenic way between hyper exaggeration and utter despair. How do we find the center? 
come and join us in September and let's see if we can collectively not only find that center, but create it, the new wineskin. Thank you.